hello, P. Orchids Garden USA here. Today I'm going to show you how I started my sweet potato yams in the house, indoor. And when they're ready for this summer, then I will uh, transplant them or repot them into a bigger pot outdoor. But this is how I started. Usually I start like in November and um, until until it's ready to be planted in spring. So this one, I, I started this, I think about four weeks ago. And uh, first off, you need, um, the material I use is uh, just a skewer, you know, a barbecue, regular bar barbecue stick right here. And so I cut this into, into four times, just cut it like this and then cut this one in the middle and then cut this one in the middle so now I have four of them right here and what I do is I put them right here I put it through uh, the sweet potato like that any kind of sweet potatoes I tried the purple it worked also but um, the deer ate it last summer deer loves them and so just put it right here just put four of them the second material that you'll need is a clear jar. I have this jar at uh, Goodwill. I bought this jar, oh, a while back. I usually use this for my orchids, but a uh, second jar. And then um, the third one is water. The water has to touch the sweet potato right here. See how it works? It has, the water must touch the sweet potato. It can't be dry. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, it will dry out the sweet potato. So this one uh, started growing already. Look how much, look how much um, sweet potatoes in there. Uh, these are clips. This is called clips. And when they get really tall, then I can um, take it out, detach it, and then put it in a water jar, um, and then let it grow there until it's ready to be uh, repot outdoor. That's what I do. I have one that's already been, oh, probably about two or three feet tall now. It's downstairs, but I did a video on that one. I will put that on the link in the description after I get done. See this one right here, look at this. This one, it, this root right here is drying out. So, because this, I buried this with water up to here, but I raise it up and put it right down here. And so uh, make sure that you get the really, really healthy sweet potato that there's no rotten in there or anything like that because it will start rotting away if you do. Now, so I'm showing you this and um, I have another one that I just started um, about, let me see, I started about uh, four days ago and I'm gonna show that to you. This one right here, I just started about four days ago, see? And I've got so many jars, and <coughs> excuse me, might as well use it, you know, I'm still have that, I still have that cold. Might as well use it, you know, because it's just sitting in there and it's not doing anything. So I didn't see any roots yet. Yeah, I didn't see any roots in here yet, but... I can see some little um, growth right here see these are starting to grow right there right here and um, some right here and right there and this one especially right here it's dark but it is a growth right here there you go it's one of my healthiest um, sweet potato it's just sitting in, on the cabinet and I haven't cooked it yet. So I told myself I will go ahead and make this, um, let it grow, make it up, you know, put it in the water and let it grow and then I can uh, repot it outdoor uh, this spring. Um, now, the, um, the deer really loves these and it drives me crazy because when I'm about ready to harvest them, you guys know, I know Filipino knows this, Asian, that this is edible, right? These are edible right here. 
if you let it grow the top of it, like three or four leaves down, you can cook them. You can uh, you can make salad of them. You can make you can mix it with soup. Any you know like uh, soup like fish soup or meat soup or seafood soup. And this is really really great. You know it's one of my husband's favorite meal, favorite um, vegetable. He thinks that. It tasted like spinach, and he really loves that. Uh, like when we go to the Philippines on our vacation, I always have planted something like this in a jar because we don't have very much land on the property where the house is sitting. So I put it in a flower pot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm still, you know, have the cold but anyway so that's what this is so this is like almost like four weeks old this one right here and it's slowly growing basically I, I think I don't know it just like so many clips look look at all these clips that's starting to grow right here so many so many of them right and so anyway let's put that to the side and I hope that I don't spill the water that would be terrible have to be very very careful here because we also have hardwood floor you know what it's like when you have hardwood floor and then you spill water it starts swelling and then you have to replace <coughs> excuse me um, so this one right here uh, I'm I'm gonna do some um, uh, follow-up videos on all of these but anyway so that this is the materials I have you know and I have this for right here so I'm gonna plan on um, buying purple potatoes, like one or two, because you know they're very expensive, right? So I'm gonna buy about two or three, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this, because it is the best time to do it now, because it takes a long time uh, for it to grow like this. It just takes a long time. So it's the best time to start now if you're gonna plant it outdoor. Um, and that's why you know, I'm gonna go to the market uh, Asian market and buy some of the purple ones and I can do it that way but anyway so I want to show it to you and I just want to thank you and I hope you like this uh, tutorial on how to grow sweet potato indoor as a starter and um, and you can go from there you can you can have as many as you want and different types of sweet potatoes there are different kinds of them out there in the market you know in the store and um, I, I like this one because this is like potato for my husband and I, you know, when we eat. This is like part of our meal. And uh, we try to stay away from the white potatoes. But this one is great. But anyway, so thank you so much and uh, shout out to all amazing Piamela team and any other team out there and shout out to everybody. All right, thank you and uh, shout out to uh, especially to my members of this channel. Thank you, thank you all so much. Bye now.